Right, today we're going to have a look at the um, door made hub kit and just talk you through the process of attaching the metal hub kit to your pieces of lumber or timber um, and just showing you through the process. So, what you get in your door made hub kit pack is 132 of the stainless steel brackets. You then get a collection of bolts. You get a larger uh, bolt with a wing nut attached. That's for the uh, joining of the hubs together. And then you get three smaller T nuts and three smaller socket bolts, and they're for attaching the metal work to the wood. So, in order to attach the kit to your lumber. You literally here we have a scrap piece of timber and it's simply a matter it's quite easy you don't need a workshop all you do is you measure 15 centimeters back from the edge of your lumber you'll have your lumber cut to um, a pre-cut size uh, according to what dimension of dorm you wish to build and the calculator for that is on www.dormnade.co.uk once you've measured your 15 centimeters on your lumber you simply throw up a line across and that marks uh, where the bracket will go place your bracket on your timber Rule a line across, mark your circles for your drill holes, and that is your rough outline uh, of how you're going to trim your wood. Here, you'll also put in a rough 45 degree angle. Uh, and you're going to trim it there as well. Now you can just trim that with a chop saw, it takes moments. So I think the angle for these are about six degrees and then the 45 degrees there. Here is one we've trimmed, so you can see the bracket sits on uh, nicely there and the wood is flush with the bracket. Uh, you would then drill the holes with an 8mm drill bit if you use the dome made nuts and bolts pack and that is as easy uh, as it gets really. It doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to do e each end um, and you've got quite a few to do. Once you've done that you, you attach, use the smaller bolts, the T-nuts, the T-nuts are simply hammered into the wood and the smaller bolt used to tighten the metal work to the wood. Don't over tighten it because it can cause the wood to split. So you just want to uh, connect the metal to the wood without splitting the wood. Once you've done that, you'll see the larger bolt uh, can be used to connect the various brackets together and that's going to make your hub system. Uh, and you do that to both ends of your strut and that's as difficult as it gets really. Once you've done that with all your struts you need to make a decision on which way you bend the bracket. Now some of the door made structures uh, are best built with the bracket on the outside such as hen houses and things like that where it doesn't matter that the metal work is on the outside if that's the case you just bend the bracket slightly back by about 12 degrees and that will give you uh, the dome that bracket will flex to form a true geodesic dome structure anyway if you're going to clad the dome perhaps in polycarbonate or plywood then you want the metal work on the inside so you would just bend in the opposite direction and that would allow you to 
affix your material the full length of the wooden strut. If we just uh, take a look now at what structures can be built uh, using the dome made hub system. So here's a hen house uh, dome that's been built. As you can see, there are some hens and also the dome made hub system. Uh, that's on the outside and all we've done is directly staple wire to the uh, frame just to create uh, a large geodesic uh, bird enclosure. Uh, turning round uh, we have the dome made workshop where I build the domes and make the kits and as you can see this is uh, has polycarbonate uh, attached to it and that's just got a metal sellotape to seal the unit up and it's quite a nice finish if we have a look inside it is my workshop so I apologize about the mess uh, we can see the six meter dome uh, it's partially covered in canvas partially polycarbonate and if we take a look you can see the metal uh, hub system has been used on the inside and that way the entire exterior uh, can be used to attach the polycarbonate to. So I hope that sort of helps you somewhat in deciding whether or not you want to choose the dome made hub system to create your geodesic dome. It is really simple and um, it can be done on the kitchen table. The tools I use are a simple chop saw uh, which I use for slicing the wood. I've got a pillar drill but a handheld drill can be used uh, for drilling the holes and then just a sander for finishing and that is literally all I have uh, to produce uh, the domes so I hope you enjoyed the video more to follow uh, thank you